I would argue like three eras in psychiatry, you know, what friends of mine have called psychiatry 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. And, you know, the first era was this era in and around Freud and this idea that it was a content issue, right? And in a life experience issue, which is partially true. It's not that that's not true. It's just not complete. And so then the solution is a content solution, a la, you know, initially psychoanalysis all the way through kind of modern forms of psychotherapy. The limitations of that led us to psychiatry 2.0, right? This idea that we serendipitously found the first antipsychotics and the first antidepressants, and we were able to deinstitutionalize, you know, primarily schizophrenia patients out of inpatient, like asylum stays with these drugs, which kind of flew in the face of this being a content issue. Well, if we're moving all of these chemicals around in the brain, then it must be that there's a deficiency or an imbalance or whatever. And that led us to recent history where, you know, there's quite a bit of, you know, prescribing of oral antidepressants and all that stuff. And the third era, this kind of circuit era that I think we're, we're in now, and I'd, I'd argue we kind of were entering in 10 years ago, but I think we're pretty squarely at the, the beginning of now flies in the face of that, right? If I can take a patient as severe as Deirdre Lehman get her out of it in a very quick time frame and and looking normal and holding that for a long time and there was no chemical exchange right there's nothing that went into her system then it gets you into this newer way of thinking about it. it's a circuit problem the useful thing about this framing one it's seemingly consistently true in the sense that we are, we're through all the various modalities seeing these differences but you know, more importantly, it lets you integrate past ideas into that concept, right? Drugs act on circuits, therapy acts on circuits, but focal neuromodulation is a really direct way of acting on those same circuits. And so from a patient standpoint, I think it's very empowering because we're not saying there's something inherently like missing or too much for you. You're constrained to having to, to take these, these exogenous chemicals to, to kind of stay well but rather like there's a circuit, there's a, a miswiring sort of misfiring sort of problem. And if we can reroute that information, then you can feel well. And I think that there's a level of empowerment that comes with that. 